Hello everyone! Oh, I am having a blessed seize the day moment. Let's knock on wood that I did not just jinx myself. Oh, it's been storming here this past week, like every single day, and I haven't had daylight, and I'm like, I still need to upload a foundation video this week though, that I haven't filmed though. <laughs> But it looks like even though it is completely overcast today, I've got enough light to film this video. So hopefully I can get through it. I mean, I'm excited to film it because this is at least one of the products that I'm testing. It's something that I've wanted to test for a long time now and I just haven't gotten around to it. But L'Oreal recently sent me 15 pounds of makeup. So again, seize the day. Let's finally test this out. This foundation, anyways, is what I consider a true classic here in the online beauty community. I feel like when the beauty community kind of exploded in the very beginning, a lot of people used and loved this foundation. I've never tried it though, at least not that I can remember. And then also, I think they actually have two different concealers in this line, but the concealer that L'Oreal sent out was this True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer. So, the foundation here. For an ounce of product, it is $10.99. It looks like there are 32 different shades available, if I counted correctly. Here is the actual line out <laughs> of these foundations, at least as far as I I know. Don't even worry, whenever I get packages like this, all donated to charity, women's shelters, that sort of a thing, because what, I don't need all of this. <laughs> so here are what I'm assuming to be the lightest and deepest colors of foundation that they have. We've got N.05 Fresh Ivory and then C12, which is dark chocolate, and it looks like, you know, fairly pale fairly deep, right? I mean, that that looks pretty dang good to me anyways. And basically what L'Oreal says about this foundation is that, A, it's got SPF in it, so that's great, but also it's supposed to completely match anyone and everyone's specific skin color, undertone, all of that stuff. And it is also formulated so that you can control the amount of coverage that you want to do, just depending on how you apply it, and, you know, if you want to layer it, and that sort of a thing. The formula is supposed to be super duper pure, where it's got no oils, no fragrance, or pore clogging fillers so all you see is beautiful radiant flawless skin I mean that sounds great anyways and then it's also got some different fruit extracts and vitamins and stuff in there to keep your skin nourished protected and healthy it's gonna have a natural finish give light to medium coverage so I guess it can't give any coverage it doesn't give full according to them it's for all skin types oil free like I said it's gonna nourish the skin and also kind of like I said they've got neutral cool and warm tones so so that hopefully everyone can find their true match. And then this concealer, here you go, a little confusing to me, there's 0.05 ounces in here, yet this is $12.99, so it's like two, three bucks, so can I do math more than the foundation? That's strange to me. There are 14 different shades if I counted correctly, the two that are missing are the two that I'm gonna be testing. I'm gonna see which one is my match, oops. I know it might be a little hard to see, but here is the lightest and here is the deepest shade of concealers that they offer. These are fair C12 and then deep C910. So this is supposed to be a medium coverage formula that is supposed to be multi-use. So you're supposed to be able to use it to cover under eye circles and imperfections, which I'm assuming they mean blemishes. They say the under eye concealer, which makes me think that maybe this is a double compartment concealer and I just didn't realize it. We'll end up finding out once I open this up, but it's supposed to be really good for under your eyes. So that's great. And it's basically just supposed to look flawless and lovely. And just like with the foundation, even though the shade range isn't as extensive, there are neutral, warm, and cool tones for people to pick from. So yeah, there you go, you guys. I think that is about all I can tell you for now. Let's just go ahead and sing the song together, and then we can go ahead and start putting the stuff on my face. I'm excited. Let's do it. Or should I say, let's test. <laughs> okay. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. Get you a little zoomed in here. I have no idea what my hair is doing today. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> like I said, I saw the slightest opportunity of daylight and I hopped on it. So as always, I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin here so that we can give these products the best chance possible on my very oily skin. I'm also wearing my glasses for the fellow glasses wearers of the world out there so that we can see how this stuff performs underneath the glasses. I think, you know, my skin's doing okay right now. I'm trying to, trying to combat my dermatillomania urges that have been coming back with the stress of late. Lately. <sighs> I know some of you are like, Cassie, you need to exfoliate and do this and that on your nose because you've got flaky bits. 
I get that, but at the same time, I know I have the flaky bits and I'm trying not to pick at them because that will lead to more picking. So just bear with me here. I've got different skin textures. Let's just embrace it and take it for what it is. So I didn't know which shade I would be. I think I'm leaning more towards this one. This is Fair W12. And this other one is Fair N12. I don't know. I just think the warmth will be good even though I do have a more neutral skin tone. Let's see, I guess I assumed this was like the twist part and then this is the the part that you should be able to take the cap off and yeah right yes okay so it is just one concealer that's what I thought Ooh, it's a very flexible little sponge here that's kind of I don't know that that would be for anyone's benefit but okay let's go ahead and play the pop goes the weasel game with these click things it's always so hard to know when is it gonna come out I do typically hate these kind of applicators but I would much prefer a sponge like this than a brush which some concealers that are twisty uppy like this have yeah. Oh, 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 there she blows. Maybe a little more zoomed in. All right, let's go ahead and put this on under my eyes here, like they said. I never know if they like want you to actually blend out with the sponge. I feel like that's kind of impossible just since there's product on there. But let's go ahead and see. It looks like that's actually doing a really good job of covering up my dark circles. I haven't been sleeping the best lately because, like I said, stressed though. But I mean, I feel like a lot of drugstore concealers say like, oh, we're good coverage and we'll cover your under eyes. And then it's like absolutely no coverage. It's basically water coverage. But this looks like it's doing really well. Oh, I don't think I said. I mean, I think I made it obvious. L'Oreal sent me these products. But as always, I am never obligated to A, even review the products, and B, I am certainly not obligated to give it a good review. So you guys are getting my 100% honest opinion on this stuff, as always. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead, dab this all over my nose, because my nose is my current biggest problem area. And then just these other little places on my cheek, my chin, you know, good old, good old hormones. I love this time of month. Anyways, let's go ahead and blend this. I mean, I have a feeling based on my under eyes. Yeah, this is doing a really good job. Definitely comparable in any case. A little bit less coverage than the physician's formula. In, is it Insta filter, Insta conceal, whatever it is, concealer that I really like? I mean, that stuff is heavy, heavy duty, but it's also got a super crappy shade range, so at least if you're wanting something that might compare, this looks like it gives almost the same amount of coverage. Not as good a coverage, but at least you'll have more shades to choose from. I think the Physician's Formula is three, but this one had, what, 12? 14? Yeah, that concealer looks awesome. I'm really excited about that. I was not expecting that much from this concealer. I usually expect these concealers, these clicky ones, to be pretty crappy. But so far, so good. So now I wasn't sure on the foundation which shade I was going to be. I've got N2 Classic Ivory and N3 Neutral, sorry, Natural Buff. <laughs> these are both the neutral shades, but I feel like I'm inclined to want to go with the lighter one, but I feel like I've been doing that lately and like my summer skin, which really isn't that much deeper than normal. I feel like I've been doing better with the deeper shades. Deeper shades. Shades that I think are going to be deeper on me. So I'm just going to test this out. We'll see. So I'm going with N3 here. Shake it up. Now these bottles, as far as I know, do not have a pump, which is unfortunate. I do prefer a pump on my foundations. These that you just dump out, it's always a risk. I'm always so scared that I'm just gonna end up dumping the whole bottle out. Ugh. So, to me that is one downfall, but as always... Okay, I think I made the right choice! Yes, Cassie, yes, you're learning! I'm going to do a brush on this side of my face. See how this looks. And then I'll do a sponge on the other half. Like I said, I do think this was my 
my good shade match, so yay! Oh, I'm so excited. This is actually looking a bit more matte than I was expecting it to look. I guess, you know, it's saying that it's a natural look. I expect it to look a bit more dewy, but for me and my oily skin anyways, this is actually a good, <laughs> a good thing. Because if it's starting off looking a bit matte, at least then it gives me the hopes that maybe you know, as the day goes on and my skin gets oily, then it'll blend with the matteness and just make my skin look normal. So, I don't know you guys. As of right now, this is looking like this is a classic in the beauty community for a reason. I feel like this is looking really good on my skin. Maybe it's because I don't have my glasses on. I'll find out in a minute here, but it's blending really easy, feels nice and lightweight, and even though it didn't do badly with the brush, got a feeling this is gonna look good with a sponge. Time will tell, but let's see how this does. All right, yeah, I do, I think. Things look good on both sides of my face. I think the sponge side I like a little bit better, but overall, I mean, it really, I don't think it matters. So here is a better look at things. I think things look good in my nose pores. Things look natural and a bit dewy, I would say. That madness that I was initially talking about, I guess, has gone away already. <laughs> I'm gonna try adding just a little bit more because it's other buildable, so I wanna see if I can just build this up a little bit. I say yes, absolutely, this is buildable. I know L'Oreal said that it's a light to medium finish or coverage, but I feel like I got a pretty good medium almost full. Hopefully you can tell when I built this up here on this blemish on my cheek, it took that away, I think. Building it up didn't make it look cakey or anything, I don't think, so. I'm really excited so far, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. It's not gonna be a lot today, but that's okay. And then I will be back and we can check in, do flash photo test and all that good stuff here on YouTube land. So, you ready? Ding! All right, so here we go. Like I said, simple day here in terms of makeup, but I think things look really, really good. I think this looks really natural. It looks really good in my pores, just really even and like I said I think it looks really good overall. Concealer and foundation look great together. It doesn't look like they're separating or having any problems living in harmony on my face skin. And then in terms of the flash photo test, here you go. Again, I think it looks really really good. I think my skin looks really even. It doesn't look like there's any flashback as far as I can tell even though there's SPF in here. So overall I am just really excited. I am really happy with my face at the moment. We shall see how it ends up wearing throughout the day. It is currently quarter to one in the afternoon. As always I will check in with you guys periodically so that we can see and then overall I will just see you in my final check-in at the very end of the night so we can see how it went overall. In any case I will see you all very soon here on YouTube Land. Bye! It is the end of the night here. It is currently just a little bit after midnight in the mid of the night. It's 12.01 a.m. I wanted to stay up a little later just because this video, you know, I had to start it a little later in the day because of the weather, but now I'm having to end it a little early because of the weather. It's starting to thunder and lightning really bad outside, so uh... I'd rather just film this before the electricity might go out. So let's take a look here, see how the foundation and concealer are doing, and then we can talk. 
talk about it yet. Hopefully you guys can see. I know I'm shocked, but my skin looks fantastic, right? Like, I'm not going crazy. It's been a long time since I've seen a foundation and concealer, I guess, look this incredible on my skin at the end of the night. It's not like I was being a complete lazy bum here today, you know, I definitely went out, did some errands, got work done, did filming, went and saw my mom, like, I had a busy, normal kind of a day, and I certainly sweated or got sweaty at certain points, got oily at certain points, but yet this foundation just looks super fresh and natural not perfect no like you can see there's a little bit of smudging underneath my glasses on the one side where it touches my cheek some like when i'm smiling and there is a little bit of fading around the edges of my nose but overall for the most part i feel like it looks like how it looked when i first applied it like my cheeks still look full coverage you know the blemishes on my cheek and on my nose and stuff are still covered i don't have insane creasing underneath my eyes like i i have completely gone past the point where I mentioned that I should probably go through my pause rating system here so that while I'm telling you how impressed I am with these products, you can also get a numerical value. So, as always, P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price, and S is for shade range. But yeah, performance really good. It's mostly a lightweight foundation. If you do have oily skin like I do, it feels lightweight, but once your oils start to come through, it doesn't feel heavy. It just feels like you're wearing a foundation. When you're not oily slash after you blot, then it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything, which is great. But also when you do start to get oily, I do notice that some of it does seem to transfer off onto my hand, but obviously not off of my face, which is excellent. And I certainly didn't see any transfer on my blotting sheets earlier. So overall, I mean, I am really, like I said, I always feel a little uncomfortable giving PR products such glowing reviews. But at the same time, I'm hoping you guys can see, like, I'm not fibbing around. Like, this stuff did fantastically. I am so, so happy and can totally see how and why this is, like, a classic foundation to so many people. Because I could see it definitely working for drier skin. I don't know about super dry skin, but definitely normal, combo, oily. Uh, I can see why people would like this, because it does give that dewy, natural kind of a finish, but at the same time, it's not overtly oily looking. Like, I'm so... <laughs> I almost want to give this a five. But because of the slight transferring and everything, I guess I'm going to knock it a little bit. So I guess I'm doing a collective foundation and concealer rating. But uh, overall, yeah, I'm going to have to give performance a 4.75. Like, I'm really, really happy. Application was good. You know, the concealer blended and went on really easily. I personally would rather not have it in that kind of an applicator, sponge, tip, pen, whatever. But at the same time, I'd rather that than a brush tip. And also, it ended up being just fine using that. And the foundation application, you know, there's no pump on the bottle. I really wish there was a pump. So application could be a little bit less messy if there was a pump added. However, aside from that, actually like blending it onto the skin and being able to layer and didn't have it look cakey after layering or anything and the two products look gorgeous together, I'm going to give application a 4 out of 5, just like I said, based on the pouring out and the pen applicator, the sponge applicator, whatever. Worth the price? Oh heck yes. Oh heck yes. Drugstore, it's... I mean, like, it's, I'm so happy with this. I think it's, maybe it's just been because I've tried out so many not so great foundations lately, and I know everyone's always like, okay, you don't even like any foundations. I do, I just am critical of them. But when I find one that I really like, clearly, I really like it. So, worth the price? Oh yeah, especially because like, eh, sorry, I'm choking a little bit here. Especially, you know, places like Ulta and stuff, you can always get, well, not always, but usually you can get like a buy one, get one 50% off kind of a deal, or else what is their coupon now? It's instead of $10, I think it's $15 now. You can get $3.50 off of a $15 drugstore product purchase. You know, things like that. Use coupons, it makes it even more affordable. 
it's five out of five worth the price for sure. And then shade range, the foundation shade range looks great, especially for a drugstore foundation shade range. The concealer line could certainly be worked on. There are obviously many, many less colors to choose from there, but so yeah, I think the shade range looks great. They've got warm, neutral, cool. They had a very deep shade, a very light shade. They had lots of stuff in between. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, I'll give it a pretty solid, I'll give it a 4.25, how about that? So overall combined, this foundation and concealer are getting an 18 out of 20. Yes, that's a pretty darn good score for me, or a 4.5 out of 5 pause. I would highly recommend this foundation and concealer truly to most people. Like I said, I'm not sure about the very, very dry skinned people of the world, but definitely people who have combo, normal, and oily skin, this concealer and foundation, big thumbs up for me. Thank you L'Oreal for sending it to me. I am so happy to keep trying this out and using it. Certainly let me know down in the comments below what kind of skin do you have if you have tried this foundation and concealer. Did you like it? Did you not? Why did you like it? Why did you not? I love hearing from you guys and getting kind of a collective information gathering it down below for people and myself. It's just good to read all of that. And overall I hope you enjoyed this review, found it helpful, enjoyable. Whatever the case may be, please do go ahead, give me a thumbs up down down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well. Until then, bye!